What's poppin' homies? It's your favorite homegirl, Gossip Girl. And today I want to talk to you about a woman found in a sleeping bag on the streets. Let's go ahead and get into it. The distraught mother of a 31-year-old woman found fatally shot, wrapped in a sleeping bag, and left out with the trash on a Kipps Bay sidewalk said Monday that she fainted when she learned of her daughter's death. The body of the woman, identified by family as Yasmin Williams, was found stuffed inside a sleeping bag and left among several black trash bags placed on the sidewalk for garbage collection outside of 207 East 27th Street around 5 p.m. on Friday. Mm-mm-mm. Cops confirmed on Monday that she was shot in the head and her death was ruled a homicide. Now, officers said, are you Yasmin Williams' mother? Yasmin's mother, Nicole, told the Post at her apartment building. And she said, yes, I'm Nicole Williams. I'm her mother. And they said, your daughter has been shot. And she said, okay. And is she going to be all right? And they said no, that she died. The grief-stricken mom said she collapsed into tears. They said she's dead. I fainted and the officer had to pick me up off the floor. She's my baby, my baby, Williams added. We got to get justice for her. She didn't deserve what happened to her. A man was seen pulling the makeshift body bag on an electric wheelchair before the sack was discovered, law enforcement sources said. The body was dumped on 3rd Avenue near East 27th Street before workers at a nearby saloon moved the black bag thinking it was part of their trash pile, sources said. The wrapped up body was left among several black trash bags placed on the sidewalk for garbage collection. Police were unable to confirm Monday morning exactly when the fatal shooting took place. No arrest has been made and no information was immediately available on a suspect. But Yasmin's mother pointed the finger at one of her daughter's friends who uses a wheelchair. That's her friend. The man in the wheelchair is her friend, she cried. He's, he got to be. He knows her from the neighborhood. Oh, my God. Yasmin, who studied criminal justice at Buffalo State University, started working with the city's homeless population in a role with NYCHA last week, her mother said. Mm -mm -mm. She has a twin brother and her father, who lives in Atlanta, was flying you know, into New York on Monday. A small memorial featuring the woman's photo surrounded by flowers and candles could be seen Monday morning on the sidewalk where her body was discovered. A local homeless man set the memorial saying he knew the victim and just wanted to do right by her according to a neighbor who declined to give his name. This is horrible. This is horrible. Now, her mother did say, you know, that Yasmin didn't did know a guy that had a wheelchair. So I really hope they look into this and do top tier investigating to find out what, what happened and why this happened to her. Because this is just this is sad, man. This is sad. This is absolutely sad. The person who did this to her, I hope they rot in hell, to be honest. Okay? And when they get caught, when the person gets caught and they go to prison, I hope they put him under the jail. Why would you do this to her? You know what I'm saying? Like, people are so evil nowadays. It, it's just crazy. People are so evil nowadays. I just don't understand. I really don't. I just don't understand this. 
I feel so bad for Nicole Williams. That's um, Yasmin's mother. I feel so bad for her family. You know, I send my prayers and condolences to the family. And I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this case as well. Because I want to know updates. I want to know if they found a the person. I hope they check every camera out there. If this person is in a wheelchair. Okay. Guess what? He will be found. Where's he going? How far? How fast can he go somewhere? He ain't going nowhere. They'll find him. They will find him. This is just sickening. And I hope we get justice for her. Justice for Yasmeen Williams. Oh my goodness. I just don't understand people. I really don't. That's why I stay to myself. I don't bother with people, you know, like I used to. For what? For what? So I just want to go back to this part of the article about the man. A man was seen pulling the makeshift body bag on an electric wheelchair before the sack was discovered. Hmm. So whoever this man is that has an electric wheelchair he was seen pulling the makeshift body bag. He is the person that needs to be arrested and questioned. But they'll get him. They will get him. Well, you guys, if I find out any more about this case, I will bring you updates. But like I said, I will be keeping a close eye on this case. Please send the family prayers and condolences because they're going to need it. And I will talk to you guys later.